What if something terrifying has been lurking beneath our feet for millions of years? Not a dinosaur, not a mammal, but a spider so massive, it could have stalked the shadows of tyrannosaurs. A recent discovery in Australia has sent shivers down the spines of paleontologists worldwide. Hidden beneath ancient sediment, scientists uncovered traces of a spider species so large, so eerily preserved, that it challenges everything we thought we knew about prehistoric predators. But here's the thing, this isn't just another fossil, this creature might have hunted the hunters. Its presence raises a terrifying question. In an age dominated by colossal reptiles, did something smaller, faster and deadlier prowl the undergrowth? How could such a beast have thrived, and why did it vanish? Or did it? Before we dive into the darkness of this eight-legged nightmare, let me ask you, how big can a spider get before it stops being part of nature, and starts becoming a legend? The fossil was unearthed in New South Wales, Australia. An area long known for producing remarkable Cretaceous-era fossils. Scientists were stunned when they realized what they were looking at wasn't just any arachnid. It was a mega spider, with fangs nearly an inch long and legs spanning over eight inches. This makes it the largest spider fossil ever discovered in Australia, and one of the most complete spider fossils ever found globally. Researchers named it Megamonodontium McCluskey and believe it lived during a time when dinosaurs still ruled the earth. That raises a chilling question. Could this spider have been a predator, not just to insects but to small vertebrates, even hatchling dinosaurs? Its closest modern relatives, trapdoor spiders, are ambush predators, capable of lunging out of burrows with astonishing speed, delivering venom strong enough to subdue prey several times their size. Now imagine that evolutionary design scaled up. Millions of years ago this spider might have laid in wait buried just beneath the soil, its sensory hairs tuned to the vibrations of passing footsteps, and when the time was right, it would strike. But here's the kicker. Until now, we had no evidence such creatures ever existed at this scale in Australia. Why now? Why here? And more haunting still, what else might still be hiding, waiting to be unearthed? But the real mystery isn't just what this spider was, but what it represents. If such a massive species could have existed undetected for so long, how many others have been lost, or worse, never found at all? Every fossil we uncover is like a keyhole into a forgotten world, and this particular keyhole opens into a place that feels almost alien. Experts are beginning to reconsider what prehistoric ecosystems truly look like. Some now suspect we've vastly underestimated the size and role of ancient arthropods, especially in regions like Gondwana, where Australia once sat. Could there have been entire ecosystems dominated by giant spiders, centipedes and scorpions, thriving in damp, dense environments alongside the more charismatic dinosaurs? And if so, what happened to them? Did the climate become too dry, did birds and mammals outcompete them, or is their decline more mysterious? And here's the twist that's really keeping scientists up at night. Some of Megamonodontium's closest modern relatives are still alive. Deep underground in remote rainforests and humid gorges of Australia, they're smaller now sure but genetically they're not so different. Could the genes responsible for their massive ancestors still lie dormant waiting for the right environmental trigger? Evolution doesn't always move forward, sometimes it loops back. If nature created a predator like this once, could it do it again? And if it did, would we even be prepared to recognize it before it's already too late? Follow the next video because this is getting more than interesting.